type of selection before you come for me, don't do it. How about that? We just have a little here. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what my kids will be doing for the summer. So right now you see the three little ones behind me. They are on either on a towel or a blanket. These two on the towels that were back there is on this blanket. They get a coloring page, a book, and a toy. But they have to stay on their little section. This uh, basically I'm making sure they stay in their own space. They can talk to each other. I don't mind that, but I don't want them to get off their mat. So they're learning. To me, they're learning balance. And right now, we're just in the living room. And I'm going to show you um, a couple of books that we have. My mother gave me some, and my uncle gave me some. So I'm going to start with the ones that my uncle brought over. So I went to my mother's house, and she had these books on the shelf. And I was like, what are these for? She was like, oh, um... Your Uncle Russell brought these over for the kids. So the first one is this Brain Quest workbook. This one is pre-K, yes. This is for Erin, and this is what she'll be doing throughout the summer. Yes, okay, but can you hold on? Let me get finished, please. Thank you. She already knows most of this stuff. Like, she knows her alphabet. She knows how to write her letters. Um, so it's a whole chapter on ABCs. The next one is one, two, threes. I mean, she knows her numbers. She knows how to write her numbers. But as you go back, um, it has phonics. A is for ant. B is for B. Uh, let me see what else is in here. Yeah, she knows all her sounds. So this will just be basically a reinforcement to get her um, to just to reinforce. And I will be doing it with them too as them too as well. Uh, this is where it gets starts to get more advanced is vocabulary. Um, open and close. She's learning about signs. The open sign, closed sign, big and small. Street signs, which they know street signs because whenever I'm at a red light or a green light, they know that something is supposed to be happening and it's not happening. The next section is shapes and colors. She knows all her shapes and colors, so we're not going to have a problem with that. And the twins know their shapes and colors as well. A little further back, it starts talking about patterns, which we will be getting to. I don't know if she's done patterns before. I can't remember. Sorting and matching. We've done. She's done work. She's like this before. This one is just what goes where. Like the crayon, we're going to crayon box, the book, we're going to bookshelf, and the banana in the fruit basket. Yes. It's broken. It's broken. Your crayon's broken. Okay, just use another one. I gave you a couple of them. The next section is my world. Yeah, the next section is oh, there we go. my world. And this section talks about uh, dinner time, stuff, what's wrong with this house. So she'll have to pick out what's not supposed to be in there, like the swing set, the apple tree. You broke yours on purpose. Because I didn't give you those broken. You're not getting any more until I'm done. No, you're going to use those, actually. Uh, science. Homes. Uh, we got habitats. Which I think I'm doing unit study for my big ones starting... Um, sorry, next school year, but I'll introduce it this summer. We're going to do a couple of um, habitats, and they're going to make their own bio, 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 bio song. Don't get me lying right now. I've seen it before, and I did it before, but I can't remember. Um, we got the desert, the rainforest, a pond, undersea. I don't think the elephant belongs undersea. What is right? chapter is fun and games. Oh, this one is lunchtime, so she gets to draw her favorite meal on the plate. Lunchtime, I mean, the fun and 
main games is just stop the collar, some, uh, oh, some puzzles. And at the end, she has yeah, some type of brain quest extras. Stickers and this looks like a pull-out alphabet. So that's hers. Okay. Let me tell you about these before you say anything. Before you come for me in my book selection. Well, it wasn't my book selection. Before you come for me, don't do it. How about that? We just not gonna go here because yeah. Okay. So these next three books are first grade, second grade, and fifth grade. I don't know where my uncle got the books from, but we will be using them. This one is going to be for Ashley, this one is going to be Lolo's, and this one is Erica's. Yes, I know my kids are not in each one of these grades, but there is no such thing as going back and reviewing. So, yeah. Yes. No, the purple one is yours. You're not getting it right now. You got to wait there. So, yeah. Do I care? No. Because I'm sure there's going to be something in here that they didn't know or need to go back and review. Um, like, there's nothing wrong. This one is actually, there's nothing wrong with going back, reading a short story, answering a question, and drawing a picture. And this is the reading comprehension section. You doing your letters? Language arts. You have to. These sentences are written wrong. Write each sentence correctly. There's nothing wrong with her going back and reviewing that as well. Vocabulary, action words, color words. So basically, she's gonna be practicing handwriting. What else do we have in here? Animal words. Filling in the blank. Spelling. All kids need spelling. I don't care what grade it is. But they might have problems with those words. Long vowel review. It says age is six or seven. It has phonics, spelling, vocabulary, reading and writing, language arts, sequences and sorting, math skills, addition and subtraction, shapes and measurement, time and money, social studies, and science. Let me see what the social studies and science is. Going on the farm, you got a maze. What plant makes what? Yes. Yeah, we did go on the wagon. I'll show them the pictures. And actually, this is actually what we did last week. My kids got to milk the cow. Aaron milked the cow. Them two, they didn't want to milk the cow. Talks about plant life cycles. Yes. We got second grade, which will be Lolo's stories to read, answer the questions. That's for reading skills, language arts, where, when, how. You gotta uh, recognize the verb and what else is that? The verb and the adverb. Yes. Cursive writing, which I might, I might need to find this book. I'm trying to get her to do cursive as well. Math skills, place values, words to numbers, addition and subtraction, shapes and measurements, and learning how to use a ruler, pounds, telling the time. Money. This one has social studies, the lady at the harbor. You get to read about the Statue of Liberty. Alright, you want to get too loud. You need to hush. Excuse me. Stop. Science photos, photo, I can't say it, photosynthesis, photo 
so these will also be used. These are going to be used every day. The other books, no. These are some more books. They have some. This one is called Holes. She got these from work as well. This one is The Summer Vacation from the Black Lagoon. I'll probably get this from the Andre because it looks like something he would want to read. Amina's voice. Um, I think I'll get it to Erica. And One Crazy Summer. Now, I already have this book. I got it from um, Mocha Mommy 7. She gifted me one. I got another one for my mother. So now we have two. And this we were going to read as our summer read along. I think we still are. Um, we're just going to have two. So I don't know how I'm going to divide these books up. But I may let them choose another book all of their own. I'm sure I will. Some more books they got. The Whales Who Won Hearts. Happy Pig Day. I've actually read this book and it's kind of fun. Wow. Yes. Oh, it's the same thing as this? Yes. Yeah, we got this. Well, this book we got from the library. That was mine. See? They already know the connection. Look at that. Look at that. Here you go. You want to hold that one? Okay, put it on your mat. Jordan. No, Jordan left his book in the truck, I believe. Knuckle Bunny. A cautionary Tale by Mo. Mine, the mine. It's the same author as those two. No, but my buy that for me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Here you go. And Pete the Cat. And she bought this one for you too, right? Yeah. We got more. It also came with this book, Cheers for a Dozen Years. And it came with this uh, worksheet to go with it. It has a family time activity and an on my own activity. Gail Ray Jake's is magic. I'm getting tongue tied today. And this is the family time, and this is the on my own. Excuse me. Oh. Nice. Get going. Ruby is getting back on his mat before he goes sit in the corner. So it came with these tips for reading with grade three and tips for reading with grades one and two. So I haven't read these because they opened them. My mother gave it to them and they opened them and yeah, they were gone. This is a summer reading journal for grades one to two and Mom. grades three through five. Mom, I think it's So they'll each get their own book. Mom, I think it's gold Okay. Character puzzle, super settings, plot box, story butterfly, sequence snake, bowl, big idea bowl, fact fish, read all about it, comparison book, my book review, Star Words, and my reading log. So that's the grades one to two. Let's look at the three to five. Get it out there. Um, character quote setting. My tongue just gets so tired. Make a movie, message in a bottle, a key event, fairy tale retelling. Back oh, cover that looks like mine. Biography but that looks card. like mine. Sing double. Name day genre. Fact wheel. Excuse me. Star Wars. And 
the reading on the back. So these two are the same. They're the same grades. And that's everything that we have for the summertime. Of course, we have all the book. you guys thank you so much for watching as always for more homeschool videos make sure you check that subscribe box down below and also hit the bell so you will know every time that the broke school homeschoolers make another video because guess what we love you so yeah that's all from us today you want to say bye guys bye happy homeschooling you're not gonna say that say happy homeschool happy homeschool